This is Savannah and I and Weston's first time traveling together. We are staying in this tiny house located close to Hockey Nose, Ohio, so it's not too far from us, but this is Weston's first Airbnb trip. Are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> no response. No response. He'll never remember it, but that's okay, because we will. And he'll get to watch the videos. This tiny house layout is a really fun layout. I like it a lot. Yeah, we could probably live here if we didn't have you-know-who. Weston, he needs his own bedroom, but let's give you a quick tour. So you park down that way, you walk up a really pretty trail with uh, trees on both sides, and you come around and up onto the deck over here is your two-person hot tub, which is just the right size. Got some chairs, and now let's go in. So as soon as you walk in to the left, you have your kitchen over here with your dining table and your little sitting room. And Weston. And Weston, of course. He does not come with the stay, though. And here we have a really pretty bathroom. I think this looks really good. And then the last room is your bedroom. Dang, a king-size bed. Yeah, we're very happy about the king size bed. What's your favorite part? Honestly, I think my favorite part is the paint color. I really like the color. I really like how they used really neutral tones and everything goes together. And surprisingly, I like the marble in the uh, shower. <laughs> I really like the marble in the shower. And normally, I'm not a huge marble fan, but I really like this one. Yeah, this is pretty simple compared to tiling. There's only three slabs. One, two, three. I'm sure it was expensive though. What's your favorite part, Levi? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say my favorite part is it's still considered a tiny house because it's 500 square feet or less, but it feels really large. Mm -hmm. It's like a full-size bedroom and bathroom, but then it's just a small living space and a kitchen. I think the high ceilings make it feel yeah. way Whoa. bigger. Yeah, the ceilings are huge. Mm -hmm. And we're out in the woods. There's no cell service here, so it really feels like an experience. And there's no TV. Guess who's <gasps> struggling? No TV for YouTube or movies? Mm -hmm. The guy who put a second TV in our house last week. You can't. I mean, TV, you just gotta watch movies and YouTube videos. But yeah, this tiny house is spot on. Good. Tiny. We don't really know if it's considered tiny or not. Yeah, you don't get the tiny house feel. If you're looking for that, it's not in this place, but it is definitely tiny. You don't feel crammed. Don't feel crammed, which is good. Which is good, which is something that you typically get with the tiny home experience. <laughs> yeah. So, so far Le Levi has filmed all the inside, taken photos, filmed outside, and I've made a big pot of cheesy broccoli soup. Oh, and we're very hungry. We're so hungry. Time to eat. Oh my heavens. This actually looks really good. I need one arm meals. Meals you can make with only one hand, because normally I'm holding Weston at the same time. Weston, how you holding up? Look at him, he's all sprawled. He's holding up. Can you hear Weston? He wants held. Very good. Will it curse you out if I feed him here? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you hear that? Not this guy. You're eating too, so I don't know. It's so good, I gotta go back for thirds. Mmm. Straight from the pot. Is it hot? She's going for the pot too. Someone already put my bowl away. Oh man, you know fall has come whenever the leaves are falling. Fall I is here. Mad. I'm happy about it. I love the greenery so much. I'm too short. I can't reach. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, if we go down, Weston, oh no, is that good? I'm trying to get relaxed, Weston. Now that's living. You look comfy. I would have died if you fell. Tossed Weston in the hot tub. <laughs> oh, that'd be so bad. That'd be so bad. Yeah, this is a nice spot to sit out and relax. All on your deck, the hot tub, two-person hot tub. Weston's loving it. Ooh. Aren't you loving it? Stretch. I think Weston likes it outside. He's very alert and looking all around. All right, I don't normally do this, but I'm getting in the hot tub this time. 
It just looked too appealing. <laughs> oh, it's so warm. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Probably isn't the most flattering look on me. My wife likes to compare my body to Mr. Krabs' no shell. If you know who that is. <laughs> you know who That's that is. That's not true. She calls me Mr. Krabs' no shell. No. <laughs> No. Here's an image if you don't know what that looks no. like. No. That is not true. I think my husband is very handsome, but there was just one instance of a bad photo, and it did look like Mr. Krabs' no shell. But he definitely doesn't look like that all the time. Weston, you have such tiny toes. Are you ticklish? <laughs> <laughs> he might be. I had to bring the soup into the hot tub. It's so good. <laughs> Can't get any better than this. <laughs> it's about that time, Weston. He doesn't sound very happy. So far, I think this trip is going pretty well. What? You got something to say? <laughs> it's time to wind down for the night. I think Weston wants to party. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> morning today. Fall is definitely here. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Sneak peek for future homies design? Coming soon. Anyway, Savannah and Weston are still sleeping. I think he had a rough night. We woke up a lot from him crying, but that's okay. It was still fun. Man, it's so quiet out here. Feels great. We have to go drive three hours away today to a shipping container home up in northern Ohio, so that's going to be pretty exciting as well. Finished filming this tiny house, it's beautiful. And yeah, get some breakfast, maybe lunch, head out, take your time. It's a good morning. Then he wanted you to get it too. So I mean, you probably laid down for a total of 30 minutes, then he ate it too. Then it was the same dumb thing. Grunty, grunty, until four, wanted to eat again. Poor baby. It's time to head out. Yep, we're all done here. Now we're headed back to Amish country. I'm sad. I liked this place. I know, I did too. I think we'll definitely be taking design aspects from this and putting it into our own house and into our future tiny homes. Weston, are you ready to head out? No, he likes it here. Look at him. Not cousin or causing a ruckus. Oh! How many times have you done that? <laughs> At least three. Let's put you in the seat. This is a two-person job. Ooh. Happy baby. Come on, Weston. You're three weeks old today. Happy birthday. It's a workout carrying him all the way back to the car. There's other tiny houses here too, which is nice. So if this one's booked, you can book there's other ones to book. Oh, Weston, you are so heavy. Beginning our three hour car ride, longest car ride with Weston, we just made a pit stop. It's that time of year, pumpkin spice. <laughs> we had to change Weston's diaper in the car. Savannah did it on her lap. She's a champ. I feel like I'm officially a mom pro now because I breastfed him in the Kroger parking lot and changed him on my lap. And we're out. We made it. Look at this shipping container home. It's so big. It is huge. I wasn't expecting it to be so large. Oh man. This place is huge for a shipping container home. There's so much space. Oh wow. Weston, what do you think? Good talk. <laughs> what do you think? We can't both fit. Oh, man. <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Yeah, I like this. Wow. We love a bathtub at an Airbnb. More Airbnbs need bathtubs. They're so relaxing. You can use them in any weather. I really like the shipping container watch, home so far. If we can watch a movie tonight. We can watch a movie tonight. Thank the Lord. No, so far they did this really well. Look at these shades. I like them. Whoa. Intimate bedroom. All right, let's give you guys a tour. Welcome to the container home, or containers home. We think there's six here. Four footy, 
Footy. <laughs> Four 40 foot containers and two 20 foot containers. We think we're going to talk to the lady later and we'll ask her for sure. But let's go in. So you first walk into just kind of a mud room. You have washing dryer, sink, you know, then your kitchen, which we really like. We really like this backsplash. I think it looks really yeah, good. Yeah, backsplash is nice. And then... The cabinets are nice, I think. Yeah, they are. Handleless. They are handleless. And then just a little seating area, which is nice with the three windows. So you can go out here into a little patio or stay inside. Here's your living room. And then in here is a bedroom. That's where Weston is sleeping. We're supposed to be sleeping. And then you just have some sitting area over here. And then the most beautiful bathroom. We really like this bathroom. You got your deck. She just has a table and chairs and a grill. And then let's go upstairs. So up here you just have a sitting room over here on this side. This door leads to an unfinished room. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with that. But this way you've got your bathroom. Pretty good size shower, double vanity. I really like the wood at the top of the ceiling here. And a bedroom. They used a darker green up here, which looks really good. Pretty simple and pretty nice. Yeah. It looks like this might be converted into an outdoor patio deck later. Right now it just goes to the roof. <laughs> yeah, it would be really nice if there was an upstairs deck because there's definitely the room for it. So here's the little outdoor patio sitting area. You can kind of see here, This we think this is where the two 20 foot containers come together and then they just cut out all of the inside so that it looks like one big open area, which makes it seem so wide in the living room. So this is what it looks like from the outside. We think it looks really cool. We kind of like the design of stacking all these containers like this. Pretty unique out here. And that's the tour of the shipping container home. You got two tours in one video. What do you think of the shipping container? This is the biggest one we've ever been to. Yeah, this one's huge. Do you think that you guys could live in something like this? Or would you rather live in the tiny one that's 450 square feet that we just went to? Yeah. Which would you pick? Comment down below. The massive shipping container home or the little tiny home? <laughs> just got done filming all of the inside stuff for this. That takes a couple hours on my end. Uh, just an FYI. Now it's time to go get dinner because we're starving. I think it means pizza time. Come on, Weston. You can do it. You ready to eat some pizza? You're going to love that when you're five years old. Yeah. Oh man, it is definitely fall. I'm kind of cold. It's getting that time of year. I've said that like six times in this video. Our car is already ready for fall. It's orange. It's already turning colors. Weston wants pizza. Weston wants pizza. Sweet child from heaven. What if he just went... <laughs> <laughs> right when he said sweet child from heaven. Oh man. That's Duna, baby. Get it? Duna stroller, baby, because it's in it. <laughs> Hello, buddy. I would like to talk to you about our Savior, Jesus Christ. You looked interested. <laughs> what kind of pizza did you get? I don't know. I think one of each. Buffet style pizza. Can not get any better than this? <laughs> All right. That was exciting, but you're probably wondering why we didn't film much more at the container home. It kind of just cut off abruptly, I would say. That is because... It's hard to do. <laughs> it is hard to vlog, and Weston was fussy towards the end when we got home from eating pizza. You just have to hold him a lot. So then I have no hands. We only have one camera. So really... And these are work trips, so Levi is filming almost the whole time. And yeah. then if he's not filming the tiny home, then to vlog, we'd have to do switcheroo things, and it just was harder than we thought it would be. It was, but it went well. Weston did really well, Savannah, basically. If Savannah can take care of him and I can film, I think it goes well. But I don't want to quit vlogging. We're doing another trip. We're leaving tomorrow, actually, and going for three days on a houseboat. So that'll be fun with Weston. So we'll try to get better at vlogging. Yeah. All that to say, 
Maybe we'll get another camera so that I can... I'm starting to get good at doing things with one hand, <laughs> so maybe I can do some vlogging. But we'll see. We'll try to get better. But if you guys keep enjoying these videos, and we'll keep making them because they're really fun. Yeah, and let us know other things you want to see when we're home because we don't go on a trip every single week. True. So, All right. let us know. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.